everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new, hello, welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Lunar Rose, because I'm the flower that blooms at night. And today, we are in full olive green, green tartan fantasy. This is the second of my little trio of a tartan tartan look I am bringing this month of November, almost at October, so used to Halloween still. But this is obviously my little green tartan number. I did a red one last week and there'll be a blue one next Monday and it's kind of like loosely inspired by the Powerpuff Girls so last week I kind of tried to do like a blossom look. This week's buttercup, next week's bubbles so um yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation. If you do please give it a thumbs up, comment down below any other looks you want to see from me and subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. Hopefully there's going to be some bonus days coming soon but if not there's at least one video coming every single week Monday at 8 p.m. at Greenwich Mean Time, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation and thanks for watching. Also, I'm wearing a pair of 301 drag lashes that I got from Give Face Cosmetics, so um, am I a full-fledged drag queen now? And I have my hair up in a bun and it's dark hair, which I don't normally do, so um, showing the judges versatility much. So I'm starting this look off with a freshly cleansed and shaved of face, and I do have a little bit of fake tan on for a change, so I'm not as pure Casper White. I'm still pale AF, but um, not as pure Casper White. And I'm going to start with my eyes for a change. So after just prepping my lips and my skin with some moisturiser, I'm just going to take a little bit of my foundation and lightly set it with some powder just to prime the eyelid area. For my eyes, I'm going to take the Melt Cosmetics Gemini Palette, my current like holy grail love. I use this like all the time. I am... Um, deeply in love with this palette. I'm going to take the shade Luna, very fitting, and just buff that through the kind of the upper area of my eye and wing it out heavily. And then I'm going to go in with that slightly deeper mustardy tone shade and then darken the outer V even more with that nice yellow toned brown. And then really like brought that colour onto that inner portion of my eye. So when I carve out my eyelid with concealer, it looks very cut and draglicious. I deepened it with a little bit more of that like greeny kind of shade in the palette and then just lightly buffed through my crease again just to make everything look blended and darken the outer V with more of that green. I carved out my eyelid using the Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer Concealer and then packed that gorgeous like chartreuse olive colour all over my eyelid and then went over with my finger just to make it look a lot more metallic and foiled. I then popped on some uh, winged liner and set it down with some black eyeshadow. And then I brought a little bit of that black eyeshadow kind of onto the outer portion of my crease just to make it look a lot more cut and defined. I then changed into my outfit and cleaned up kind of any fallout and just sharpened everything up. And then it's time to beat this face. I do have a full coverage highlight and contour routine which I will leave down below. But pretty much curl correct the beard area then go in with a super full coverage Crown & TV Paint Stick in the shade 3W with a little bit of 7W mixed in. And then use 406 for my highlight shade and then I went in with 10W for my contour shade just to make everything Everything looks super kind of a bronzy, glam, chiseled and gives some definition to this round hamster face that I have. And then once I'm happy with how all my creams are looking, I just heavily set down using my Coty Elise Air Spun Powder and filled in my brows off camera. Then for my lower lash line, I first took that Luna shade again and just buffed it along my lower lash. And then I really heavily packed that deeper green shade kind of all over my lash line and extended my inner corner just to give that more like feline elongated kind of effect and then blended out with that mustardy yellow tone shade. I first took that like shimmery like orangey shade in the palette but I didn't like how it looked so I packed kind of the green colour from a BH Cosmetics Festival palette and then put some black in my waterline and then it's time to contour and bronze. So I used my Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour palette and did a very flimsy breast contour, I don't know why I bothered, and then took the light shade in that palette just to kind of dust away any fallout that I had for my lower lash and just to brighten everything up again. And then I bronzed using my Physicians Formula Bronzer, heavily packed on blush. I first went in with the Wet n Wild one and then just packed all my favourite makeup geek ones on top. So, um, yeah, that. I love blush when I'm in drag. For highlight, I used my good old trusty Flexitarian and then topped it with a Lucky Clover from the Moonshard Glow Kit, which I also put on the inner corners of my eyes since it has, like, a really nice green kind of duochrome to it. And it's quickly becoming like one of my all-time favourite highlighters. Like, I just love the way it looks. I then lined my lips using Chi from Colourpop, which is a deeper brown shade. And then filled them in using Flesh Pot from MAC, which is super nude. Popped a little bit of gloss on. And then that is the finished look. All you gotta do is pop on lashes, a wig, and a rhinestone under your eyes. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for bloopers. Kind of like loosely inspired palette pout. <sighs> Kind of loosely inspired palette about. Uh, no, I'll just go with that first fucking intro that I did. <laughs> 